This is SCM News with Dorothy Sambaluna and Gian Austria. Good morning, Philippines. It's Tuesday, October 3, 2030. We hope you're having a great day. We have stories and conversations for you in the next 10 minutes. Let us keep you company until 10 a.m. Let's get started with today's headlines. Patricia Jimenez, the first female Balanga city mayor. Harvard doctors cancer treatment approved. Philippines! Kyle Salta, the fourth Filipina Miss Universe. For our special report, from nobody to somebody, NBA's rising three-time MVP Filipino player. Yes, Dorothy. Trisha Nicole Jimenez won the election held today, October 3, 2030, and became the first ever female mayor in the history of Balang. The newly elected mayor, Trisha Jimenez, worked hard in promoting herself in the election campaign, but she was not confident that she would win against Dane Garcia. I was up against the race, and so naturally I was scared, but to my surprise, I actually won the election. At first, I thought it was a after a while, it sank in and I immediately thought of pursuing the best I have for my last. Aside from being the first ever female mayor of Balanga City, Mayor Trisha is also the first to break the over 20-year reign of the Garcias. Uh, masaya naman po sa pagkapanalo ng bago mayor. Ang hiling ko lang po sana ay mapanala niya pa po ang ating result. As for the votes, it is as follows. 54,017 votes for Trisha Jimenez and 45,071 votes for Dane Garcia. So Ariel, when will the newly elected mayor start duty? The new mayor has lots of plans to improve Balanga City and will be officially proclaimed as mayor on November 3, 2030. This is Ariel Maliksi reporting from STM News. The new discovery for a treatment of cancer has been approved last night. Here's our senior news correspondent, Rain Feliciano, for more details. Harvard Doctors' Treatment for Cancer Discovery was approved by the World Medical Association during the Global Health Evaluation held in Manhattan, New York, last Saturday, October 3, 2030. Harvard graduate and resident Dr. King Season has been researching on the benefits of the Averroa Balimbi plant for five years and recently found out that the antioxidants it contains has the ability to combat cancer cells. I wanted to know the possible health benefits of the Averroa Bilimbi plant, also known as the Camus plant. And I discovered that the Camus plant can kill or eliminate cancer cells. And I realized that how big of a step it is in eliminating cancer worldwide. This discovery was said to have the potential to cure cancers of all kinds and is possibly more effective than chemotherapies, excluding the radiation the patient's body would absorb. This treatment targets average people, costing around only 5,000 pesos per therapy. This is Rain Feliciano reporting. More news to come after a short break. Next DM News will be right back. Here at Apple, we separate ourselves by doing what is simple, minimalist, yet groundbreaking. We don't just innovate, we really don't innovate. But people still buy our products. Now that's what you call innovation. With the new iPhone, we started thinking differently. We wanted a product that can solve people's dilemmas in choosing a phone. And I think we finally did it. This is 
the new iPhone 20 with the tree. Hey, you're not holding anything. Shut up! We're holding the new iPhone. We got with you. Did we run out of ideas? I think so. Hey, shut up! We took the design up a notch. We wanted something simple, yet sophisticated. First, we removed the headphone jack. Then, we removed the home button. Now, we removed the phone. Now, your iPhone is what you imagine it to be. Ta-da! The iPhone 23 comes with a plethora of features. We equipped it with the same camera as the one we used last year, and we make people think that we improved it, and they actually believe it. You'd be asking why you should upgrade if it has the same camera as last year. Um, because come on, everyone wants the new iPhone. The display is now amazingly true to life. I mean, look. See my head and it looks so real. Wow. I've never seen a display this way. The new iPhone will come in three colors. Kind of gold. Guess it's gray. And maybe I should have went with the gold one, silver. And more. In just your imagination, you can change the color of your phone. Now I'm holding a blue iPhone. Oh, it's yellow now. Innovation. As for the price, one iPhone can be manufactured for $300. But since we're Apple, we're gonna sell it to you for $2,000. And you'll still buy it. <laughs> the new iPhone 20 with the tree. age 29 has made history by winning Miss Universe 2029. SDM News correspondent Marielle Cataina has the whole story. Marika Salta now joins Gloria Diaz, Margie Moran, and Pia Wurzbach, who won in 1969, 1973, and 2015 respectively. The pageant was held in Las Vegas on Sunday, Monday in Manila, and was hosted by Elgin Feliciano. Marie Calzata consistently topped the Miss Universe 2029 Global Fan Vote, which is based on online votes by audience members during the pageant's live telecast. During the top 5 Q&A portion, Marie Calzata was asked, What characteristics should a Miss Universe possess? There are three qualities that a Miss Universe should have. Energy, attitude, and acceptance. Energy. Miss Universe is not just the face of the universe, but she also has to have high energy to carry out her responsibility to help and inspire people around the world. Next, attitude. A positive attitude which will guide her through even the darkest moments in her life and share this positivity to everyone who, have, who has lost hope and to help them stand up again. And lastly, acceptance. Being Miss Universe, you will not just stay in your country but he will travel and meet lots of people around the world. And so, she should have, she should learn to accept people for who they are and not for who she wants them to be. And for everyone, let the fire in your heart find its purpose. Thank you. And the winner of Miss Universe 2029 is... Philippines! After the pageant, she said that she is honored to represent the Philippines for Miss Universe 2029. This is Maria Pitalina for STM News. For the special news, from the bottom climbing his way to the top, Filipino NBA player Kyle Yulip marks his name by winning three straight MVPs. Our sports enthusiast James Gabriel for the scoop. 
a lazy yet basketball minded person back in 2017, is now the greatest basketball player in the world according to the experts. 6 7 shooting guard from the Los Angeles Lakers, Kyle the Great Julep, has earned the title after winning three straight MVP titles and leading his team to capture three straight championships. He started bowling when he was seven years old. He said that it's hard to play in their place because lots of adults are bullying the younger ones just to play in their court. It takes a lot of work and effort to become the greatest basketball player in the world. Kyle suffered from losses and failures before he can reach the top. Back in the intramurals when he was at high school, he didn't play because his coach didn't want to let him in. He felt frustrated and think to quit playing the game he loves. But instead of quitting, he practiced every day. Every day, he spent 4-5 to five hours playing basketball. Kyle puts a lot of effort on the game he loves. He didn't quit. Instead, he tried his very best to achieve his dream. And that's to become the greatest basketball player in the world. Al Yulip serves as an inspiration for all the athletes out there. He proves that failure is not an excuse to quit, but it serves as an inspiration to reach your goal. I am James Gabriel for the STM News. Delivering nothing but the truth. This, this is SCM News. Forward, Philippines. Philippines.